Let's talk about emerging markets. Some equity fund inflows in emerging markets tripled last week. That is according to a report from EPFR Global. The funds attracted about $1.7 billion, adding to a record year that saw about $80 billion of investments in the funds. Joining us now on the telephone is Kevin Shafnovsky. He is a portfolio manager at Alpine Mutual Funds with almost $3 billion in assets under management. So, Kevin, we want to point out to our viewers about 20% of your assets are in emerging markets. Welcome to you. Hi, great to be here. So what's your take on what's behind these massive inflows into emerging market equity funds? Well, I think uh, over the last year, investors have been very positively surprised by how well emerging market countries like Brazil and China ha um, handled the crisis and have emerged out of it. Um, these countries' governments had very strong fiscal positions, were able to provide the most effective stimulus, and are, 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 are emerging out of the crisis without the same headwinds as the developed markets. And the analysts are zeroing in on this improving outlook for exporters. How is that factoring in to this bullishness? Well, uh, look, that's all the, that's all the upside uh, in, in exporters. Uh, countries, especially like China, rely a lot on uh, the global, um, global trade. And as we emerge and the developed world emerge out of, the, um, out of the, the recession, they will benefit a lot from that global trade. Emerging markets also, are they benefiting, in your view, from the improving U.S. economic picture, our remaining record low interest rates here? Oh, definitely, and more specifically in terms of money flow, uh, looking for investment, and not only in um, uh, you know physical assets, but also in uh, actual the markets. Uh, you know, the cheap money that is being generated in in the U.S. is looking for the best return, and that can be found in emerging market uh, stock markets. And you're basically targeting the weak dollar, right? In that outlook. Well, definitely gives you a good hedge against uh, a weakening dollar, and. Um, but, but also, I think the, the thing to focus on is, is the really good story that uh, you can find in emerging markets, especially what we like the most is uh, the emerging market consumer, who we see is, uh, is, is really emerging right now. How so? In spending? What are they spending on? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. When you look at China, a quarter of the Chinese population has just hit that critical um, 4,000 to 6,000 GDP per capita level, where the percentage of your income that goes towards just purely subsistence uh, and explodes into actual, you know, uh, consumption of, you know, uh, more, uh, cons you know, more c consumable goods. So, you know, especially in China, when you see the explosion in demand for automobiles and appliances and, you know, more, more luxury type products than just subsistent living, provide strong investment opportunities. Now, Kevin, you're talking about the stimulus measures being so successful in China, Brazil. What's going to happen once that stimulus fades? Well, uh, you know, the, the, the stimulus in emerging markets was meant as a bridge to when um, the rest of the world comes back and a bridge to the end of the crisis. So we think that um, prudently the governments in these countries will, um, will, 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 will bring down the stimulus. And, and that is the best thing, because if you don't want these markets to overheat, others you could get, get bubbles. We'll have to leave it there for time considerations. Kevin Shaknovsky of Alpine Mutual Funds, thanks a lot.